Hi guys, welcome to the Loving Little Learners channel. Um, I just wanted to reach out and give you guys a quick tutorial on a app that I use for home learning that I think is going to be really beneficial to you all during this time of uncertainty due to the coronavirus. Um, I know a lot of us teachers have questions, we're unsure of how to move forward, we're worried about what's the best way to reach our students and the most effective way that we can reach them and teach them. So I wanted to share this app with you called Seesaw that I personally use in my own classroom. Um, my students love it. I've been using it since we have been on home learning. My school personally has announced that it's going to be closed for the rest of the year and I have turned to the Seesaw app to continue teaching my students to continue communication with them, um, for them to hear my voice, see that I still care, and um, basically just continue learning in a really fun uh, and user-friendly way. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how to start Seesaw at home for continuing your education while schools are closed. Hi guys, so welcome to my Seesaw training account. I made this account to walk you guys through how to set up Seesaw and uh, navigate your way through Seesaw as a teacher. So the first thing that I want to show you is how we add our students. I have my roster here um, and they're just made up students to showcase how to use this portion. But you would simply just add students by clicking on this tab here um, and you would literally just go ahead and import your roster or type in your names themselves you can choose from different logos um, to assign each student but it is very very easy it takes about two minutes to complete especially if you already have your roster in an excel sheet so after you have your students logged in or inputted you are going to go to this new section that they have that is used just for the coronavirus epidemic where we know now know that we're gonna be going into um, home learning. So Seesaw has been on top of it and they've created this little tab that says get home learning codes. So you would simply just click here and you would go to print codes or download codes and you would pass those out to your families so that they can have access to your Seesaw class. From there, um, they would be able to go ahead and navigate through these different tabs. Um, a student would have access to journal, activities, and inbox skills is just for a teacher view. Um, so activities is going to be our next area that we're going to explore. Within activities, these are basically assignments that you're assigning your students. The first assignment that I like to give my students is, um, especially for right now, is like an introductory video. So instead of introducing ourselves, we are going to go ahead and answer this question. What have you been up to? And it's basically just asking my students, what have you been up to since we've last seen each other, since everyone is out of school and it's been a couple of weeks since most of us have had contact with our students. Um, it's nice to know what they've been doing, how they've been feeling, and kind of just touch base with them once again. Um, you can do that by just creating a video and asking some questions. Um, so this activity, I will go ahead and walk you through. I simply just created a video telling them what I've been up to and asking them how they are doing. I also have created some instruction steps here. Um, I'll read through them. It says to add a response, tap on the camera to begin recording. Tell me what you've been doing since school has been out. I also asked them to tell me how they were feeling. Press the pause button to stop recording and then click on the check button twice to add a response. Um, I will show you what that looks like as a child. So I can go ahead and play my instructions here. Tap on the green out of response button and then click the camera to begin recording yourself. Tell me what you've been doing since school has been out, how you feel about the school closures and share whatever. So basically students have the option to either read their instructions or they can hear their instructions, which is good for um, different grade levels. I know my kinders are gonna have a little more trouble reading through the instructions, especially if they're completing their activities independently. 
Um, so this is a great option for your lower grades, your primary grades, or you can just stick with the um, written instructions with the symbols for your upper grades. But so they would click on the instructions and then they would choose this video camera to record themselves. They can also choose between drawing, taking a photo, uploading a file, maybe they drew a picture, um, adding notes or sending a link to something that they've done. So there's many options for them to respond. Um, if they were following my instructions, they would go to the video and upload a video recording. So that's what it would look like if a student was completing this activity. This is just a good way to touch base with your kids and um, let them know that you're thinking about them and that you still care. So that is my, those are my activities that I've assigned in this class thus far. Um, but whether or not you're a novice Seesaw user or you are very experienced, there's so many options for activities that you would assign to your students. Um, if you go over to this light bulb activities tab, it shows you the activities that you've already assigned to your class. You can schedule activities. So say I wanna, on Monday, I want to prepare all of the activities that I wanna assign for the rest of the week. I can schedule which activities I wanna roll out on each day. Um, when I'm done with activities, I can ar archive them or I can just go to this little button here. It says browse activity library. This is an amazing resource. Um, if I go into it, you can see that there is a little um, button here that says community. And then there's one that says my library. If you go into community, you can sort through so many activities that are already made for you. Um, so I would pick which grade level I'm in, which I'm in kindergarten teacher. I would choose which subject I would like. So let's go to ELA. Um, and here is a plethora of activities that I can choose from. I can choose this little heart to save them to the activities that I'd like to use. Here are some that I've already saved. Um, or I can just click on an activity and assign straight from here. So if I click on assign, I can say that I want to assign this to all of my students in my Seesaw training class, or I can just assign it to certain students. So I can assign it to my sample student or elephant or horse or whoever I'd like, depending on differentiation for your students. Click on this green um, check button and then assign. It's really as simple as that. And then you can go through and browse more or you can go back to your class by clicking this button here. I wanna show you guys that they also have the option um, up here for just kind of getting your feet wet when it comes to Seesaw. They have getting started with Seesaw in kindergarten. There's five activities in this folder or they also created this folder for remote learning for kindergarten. And these are just really fun, simple activities for your students to get used to, um, seesaw with, and really get their feet wet. So those are some really good um, resources that they have up there for you. You also have the option to create activities yourself. So now I'm back in my classroom and I would just simply press on this green add button. From here, it gives me the options to post student work, assign activities, or send announcements. So if I was to assign an activity myself, which I wanna upload something I've created or something very specific to my classroom or my students, I would go to assign activity. So I am going to be making another video that kind of goes more in depth on how you assign an activity, how you post it, how to write the instructions that go with it. So stay tuned for that. But I wanted to show you where you can find that on this Seesaw navigation video. Another thing that is very useful is the send announcements um, button. So I can choose who I'm gonna send it to, all of my family members in this class. So I want to send it to all my family members or all of my students. And I can simply type in an announcement that says, Hi guys, I wanted to introduce Seesaw through this video. Please take a look 
and enjoy. Okay, so if I was to say that and I wanted to give them a kind of, I made a video on how to navigate through Seesaw um, as a student. So I can attach that video here by just clicking on the link button here and simply just entering my link for that video. Um, I will also post that link for that video below so that you guys, if you are setting up Seesaw, you can simply do that and um, provide that for your students who are getting used to Seesaw. So I went and got that link for you all and I'm gonna put it in here. So here's the link to that video I was talking about, how you navigate Seesaw for a student. Um, when I'm done putting the link in here, I would just simply click on this green button here to attach it. So now here's the video um, that I've uploaded. I can explain what this video is about by using this record button or I can add a caption. When I'm done, um, I will click on the screen button and I will attach it to the announcement I'm sending out. So once I, it's how I would like it, I'm gonna press the send now button and uh, I have it access. Let's see. Okay, let's try it again. So I, when I'm ready, I'm gonna press send now and then it will go to my announcements here on my um, Seesaw page. So your families or your students will be able to see this announcement once they get into Seesaw and hopefully this will help them navigate their way through. Um, let's see, the next thing I wanted to show you is this area that we're actually in is inbox, which you have the ability to communicate with your families through this area. You can send them direct private messages. Each student can have up to 10 family members connected to each student. Um, and every message that you will send to them are private. Um, and then you can also see notifications, which will show up when you have students posting to their journal. So basically that happens when they complete the activities that you've created for them. So if I was to act as a student and create this activity, I can utilize any of these tools down here. Um, we have a pointer finger which helps drag. We have a pencil, a color pencil that you can change the color to, a marker, a magic marker, an eraser. Here is how you're gonna add text. Um, you can record yourself completing your work so that as a teacher you can hear how the students are actually working their way through completing their worksheet or whatever it is that you're assigning them. Here they can take a picture of themselves or upload a picture of something that they've done. Um, and then you can also have the option to add shapes. They have base 10 blocks, so many different geometric shapes here or add a background to your, um, to your assignment. So I'm gonna show you how I would complete this as a student. I would just simply press that um, pointer finger and sort my words. When I'm done, I would choose this recording button here and it tells you when it's gonna start recording. And then I would read my words. So k at, ch at, flag, clap. And I would I can keep going until I'm completed. When I'm done, I'll press this pause button or even if I need to pause to work through a problem, um, I can press this pause button here. When it's complete how I would like it, I'll press this green button on the top corner. I can hear my own recording and watch it. And if it's how I would like it, I would press this green button to submit. If it's not how I'd like it, I would press this re-record button to redo my work. When I'm completely satisfied with what I've done, I would just go ahead and submit it. And I will say that it's uploading. Now this is posted in our class journal. You see this here is our class journal and it tells you how many items um, your students in your class have completed thus far. Since this is just a tutorial class, um, I only have the one item that I just completed. But from here, you can watch the video. And then I would read my um, And then you can like it. You can comment on the video. Um, so I can say, great work and post that.
Or another thing that I can do, which is really good for my primary grades, is press comment and choose this microphone. Here I can leave a voice comment, so let's try that. You did an amazing job. Great work. And then press the green button to, can, um, to leave your comment. And then students can simply just play your comment and hear your voice, which I think is really special during this time that we are away from the students. So those are the basic skills that every teacher has um, for Seesaw Free. Um, another option for Seesaw Plus is this area here called Skills. Here um, you can basically create a online fluid grade book where you can connect the student's work um, to certain skills and certain standards that you would like to see them working on. So let's say that I want to do as a kindergarten teacher, um, follow how my students are progressing at counting by tens to 200. So I can create a, um, a um, activity where I'm asking them to count from count to 200 by tens. And in the skills, I can give them a grade while it's connected to the specific standard and track how they're doing um, in their progression towards meeting that skill. So this is basically just a really fun way to track the students' work, to see their progression, to have as a resource to show your principal and to show um, parents, and even to show your students to see how they're growing and setting goals. Um, so this is a really good resource if you are going to be um, using Seesaw Plus. So that is, in a nutshell, how to get Seesaw started for your families while we are on home learning. I really hope you enjoy. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below. I am planning on doing more videos, um, navigating different parts of Seesaw more in depth. So please let me know if there's a certain part of Seesaw that you're wondering about. I am a Seesaw ambassador and I can get the resources that you need to answer any questions that you have. So please feel free to reach out. I hope you enjoy and I hope this helps.